I'm seeing if we tell each episode I talk about it, do whatever you say in the comments. And in today's episode, uh, I guess I will just do a random quest. And I do, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe I have finished the game. So, you know, uh, I don't really see what else I should be doing here. Uh, I was I was told uh, there was some kind of new rank that would be coming up, but maybe that's only for the extension or something. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much, I don't know. I feel like the game is kind of finished or something. Uh, and I'll probably go for another game in the, you know, you know, in the next recording session. And, uh, you know, if you have any suggestions, then you can write them in the comments. Um, although it needs to work out with, like, the, the kind of publishers or developers idea of, you know, uh, copyright and stuff. And, like, Let's Plays, uh, which many still don't have any Let's Plays policies up or something, which that is really annoying. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, and um, today's topic will be um, being ABDL and liking diapers or baby stuff in 2023, which, let's take this one, um, which I wanted to talk about because it's, um, you know, I think there's a, a huge difference if you compare this, like, to like 20 years ago, let's say. Uh, being like into ABDL now is a much different experience and uh, I think now is a pretty good time to kind of get into ABDL. Uh, but we'll talk about that uh, in you know a second. But let's start off with uh, the note that I can't really do anything here as long as this barricade is up. But let's try this one. No, it doesn't really work. We can try to get over this. Oh, that actually works. Okay. Uh, so, essentially, uh, imagine a time where the internet wasn't really the thing, or was not really that popular, uh, or not really used, and uh, you essentially kind of start, uh, you know, start being kind of fuzzy when you see a baby, or start being kind of interested in, like, you know, how do like, baby stuff work, baby bottles and diapers and that kind of stuff. Um, and if you kind of, you know, you're kind of starting to get into EVDL, but you don't know what it is. I mean, there's no term you call it. You could call it, uh, you kind of want to be a baby or something. Or, you know, you kind of are interested in this for some irrational reason. Um, but for the most part, pretty difficult uh, to really kind of get some good grasp on a concept. If you don't really have a name for it and don't get the idea that this is even a thing that is kind of common and if there's nothing like the internet where you can just you know find lots of people who also are into this um, then it's very difficult to really get an idea of how unique your interests are really and what it is even is and how you would be calling this and stuff uh, so yeah uh, so back then it was basically like yeah you had this kind of Kind of interest and you probably thought it was weird because everyone else of course was also thinking it was weird and that they couldn't kind of tell anyone about it or something because of course you know it's like you know being a baby is kind of like a babyish thing like and being a baby is embarrassing and stuff um uh, if, you know I, I, unless you are a baby i guess uh, but if you're kind of old and you're kind of behaving like a baby, it's like it was taught to you that that was like a an embarrassing thing or like something uh, something sort of bad in that sense. Um, so yeah, the only kind of the only kind of point of reference that you have is like the people around you, and uh, you know who is going to come out and tell you, oh, recently I uh, have found myself. Uh, being interested in diapers uh, especially when you're young you probably don't even have the proper like language ability to express yourself properly um, but yeah that's basically the idea uh, if you don't have any way to find out that there's other people like this and learn more about it uh, it kind of seems like you're kind of having a very weird problem that you're dealing with on your own and you can't really talk to anyone about it. need to keep it a secret because it's of course embarrassing and stuff. But now, fast forward to the time when the internet is so essential to your life that you are quite literally forced to use it for like bank transactions and stuff. 
end where you kind of I guess also are being spied upon by literally everything out there uh, but you know that's another issue uh, so now you can simply you know get the idea that if you find yourself interested in diapers for example and baby stuff you can go onto your favorite search engine which please don't tell me it's Google uh, and then you just search for it and even though the search results are much worse than they used to be you will still find something decent and useful it will discover quickly that there's not just babies wearing diapers and not just very old people either and then you will quickly stumble upon the idea of you know ABDL I guess even if you just if you just type in like baby diaper or something or diaper you will find a ton of people that are clearly not babies wearing diapers uh, so you know you you can't really avoid it if you start searching so you immediately start knowing oh you know there's like plenty of other people who kind of like this and can kind of go on a venturing journey on to discovering all of that stuff and then um, it's not it's no longer this kind of weird thing where you you know, you're kind of like dealing with this really weird problem yourself uh, that you're the only one in the world that has it. Um, no, you just know immediately that, yeah, it's kind of sort of pretty common enough. And, you know, and in that sense, I think that's why right now you basically have so much access to information and the way of exchanging yourself with others. It's, it's very easy to simply just, you know, go from, oh, I kind of, you know, found myself interested in like, you know, a relative's, you know, relative's diapers and, you know, you, you then just go online and search for it and then you find like some YouTube videos and stuff of some weird anime characters talking about diapers and then suddenly, you know, you know, oh, okay, that's like, you know, that's a thing and you can get kind of more interested in it and, um, you know, find out about the ABDL diapers and the kind of different shops and, you know, maybe you get yourself a pacify and stuff. You learn a lot about potentially, you know, how to be more sort of, you know, er, you know, ironically more mature because you are learning about, you know, how to make, you know, transactions online, uh, how to pay for stuff there, how to, uh, you know, potentially discreetly get diapers from XYZ um, how to get pacifiers easy and stuff you get very creative and uh, it's very you know I think it's a very kind of if you're motivated to to kind of do something then you learn very quickly and very efficiently uh, and that is really really helpful uh, and I think if you kind of interested in such a topic as an early age you will ironically become very mature in comparison to your like peers uh, just because you kind of have this you know strong motivation to get yourself diapers essentially so yeah uh, but yeah in the end you know you can kind of easily get yourself diapers there's so many different options that you can choose from uh, you know 20 years ago I'm not sure if there were any ABDL diapers in the first place so you know you could only get like these medical diapers or like diapers for kind of big 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 babies like the higher pamper size or something you didn't exactly know how to measure stuff how things would fit um, and you know you would kind of have to go to a store in person and buy diapers in a very big size which will probably be one of the most embarrassing experience you have but now today's you can simply just uh, you know order it online very discreetly will come in some kind of you know brown packaging and uh, you know you just need to sort of get the package before before somebody kind of finds out about it and then you have it and very easy and very convenient you also don't really have this kind of inherent need to go outside very often and you know you can just stay home and kind of have the have kind of more diapery experiences um, if you want to for example you know if you need to buy some stuff uh, that you need for whatever reason you can just order it online now you don't need to go outside and interrupt your ABDL stuff and you know in general I think things are more much more convenient and you can sort of go about your life without really leaving 
your computer, I guess, in some sense, uh, or your home. Um, of course, if you choose to, you can still do that. But this, you're no longer forced to do that. And uh, that enables a lot of different actions. What was that? That enables a lot of different options for you. And of course, makes it much easier to kind of get into this diaper stuff. And, you know, I think that's that's why, you know, just right now is, I think, a pretty good good time and, uh, you know, experience with ABL stuff. There's also a lot of, like, ABL content now, like, especially illustrations and, like, manga and comics and, like, stories in general. Uh, and you can really kind of enjoy a lot of stuff there. Uh, but, you know, of course... If, you know, when the internet wasn't around, you couldn't exactly go to your local bookstore and find or ask for some ABDL stories. Uh, you didn't even know what ABDL was, neither did the kind of store owner. Uh, I feel like we're doing a pretty great job at essentially kind of keeping the monsters in check. But this thing seems to be kind of hurrying to the destination. Oh, this is like an auto trigger. Wait, this is like... I guess I should... Oh, wait. This is really fast. Kind of like cheating that it can just destroy all of these gates. But yeah. But I think, you know... Right now, you have a much more convenient life than 20 years ago. Um, of course, it's much... It's kind of different and uh, kind of difficult to compare. But you definitely do have a much easier time to get into these kind of more thought to be fringe-ish things. Oh, it seems like you could... Where's it going? And, you know, if, you were, if you're interested in you know, anything other than ABL, that's kind of sort of very obscure. Uh, not very kind of popular. Uh, so that it didn't make itself into books or something that you could read about. Then, you know, back then you didn't really have much of a chance other than to randomly find somebody to get them interested into this or that they are already interested in. Wow. Heads into battle. Ooh. Nuclear explosion. Mission complete. Oh, just a submission. But yeah, that's essentially, you know, the current status. And, uh, you know, if you're kind of watching this and you think you might be interested in ABDL, or you are already interested, realize now is a probably pretty good time to do that. And uh, we have a major advantage and can kind of experience it much more intensely than, you know, uh, a few decades ago. Of course, now I've heard that there's even uh, the toddlers around on YouTube were making very kind of hopefully cute and diapery videos and I heard that well, if you subscribe to them uh, you get to see more videos uh, which of course uh, is a very nice goal to have in life uh, not sure how long this thing will manage to survive still it seems like we're doing a pretty good job here Repel using cannon. Repel using a weapon. Don't know if these subquests really make any kind of difference to the final result. But yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to, to say. That, you know, it is. It, you have quite an advantage right now. Um, and I think if you, if you know about this. You know, the, it could have been different. Uh, you can really kind of appreciate the opportunities that you have now, and uh, maybe you take the take this information and uh, you know, work up some courage to get yourself your first diapers or something. Um, but yeah, and uh, I think this will be finished quickly or soon. Not sure why these kind of dragon courage they are fire automatically. 
But I don't know, this one has a lot of like health and I'm not exactly sure why. Considering that, you know, it kind of didn't even like there was not a single not a single kind of major barrier breach in the beginning. Then it cheated itself to this area here. Oh. But yeah. And also I want to remind you, and let's let's just loot some stuff. How do I get off here? Uh, I want to remind you that uh, I am in uh, you know I am in need of new topic ideas. So if you have anything that you want me to talk about, doesn't need to be ABL related, uh, then please write in the comments and I can do something. I can do an episode on that topic. Or again, as I always say, uh, you can also you know tell me what you would like to see me do, for example. And uh, you know, whatever idea you have uh, that kind of fits in this in this kind of you know general idea of a retailer channel. And I guess it makes sense if it works with like me playing a game. Then that uh, would be a great suggestion to write in the comments. I'm not sure if the turrets make more damage or if my weapon makes more damage. It's like 200. Oh, probably weapons. I think you have like unlimited like deaths or something. We not waste any of these mega potions. Cool. What is this kind of spear sticking out here? A wire bug? Hmm? This AP is something up its sleeve. It doesn't have sleeves, so probably not. This is like... Oh no. Is that the installation health? What does it even have mounted here? Hold on, I'll reduce for something, something. It has... Wait, what is that even? Let's go and get myself a... One of these, I think. And... Not sure if that does... Uh, it probably does more damage than my weapon. This kind of has more consistent firing rate. Ow! That's not really nice. Why are there suddenly like more creatures? I don't know. It, I don't know. I don't like these kind of levels where you have to, you know, do this kind of siege thingy uh, in this way. I, it's kind of like a tower defense done annoyingly. Uh, wait, what? Oh. But you know, I, I did like the kind of Nava thingy. That was sort of siege-ish. I really like this kind of quest uh, in Monster Hunter Tribe, where you had this, I like, think it was Jen Morgan or something, like some huge sand whale that was swimming in like sand ocean. How do I... Ooh. And you know, that one was really nice, you could even got like, you could even get some core, some core, some ore on like the back of this creature, you could mine it and uh, you could also have like, you know, you had like a ship with cannons and unlike these here, you had to kind of carry a cannonball uh, to that cannon and then it would shoot it out uh, and right now, I don't know, I mean, of course, making things more easy is sometimes nice in games and, you know, but it makes it also much less interesting because you can't really do much you can just press, you know, keep your buttons pressed and then it will just shoot automatically. Um, meanwhile, with this kind of carrying cannonballs, you have to kind of do some sort of pathing between the different spots where cannonballs spawn. And then you can essentially, you know, try to do your best. Or you could also do other things. There were like other things like these sort of harpoon binders uh, where you could like sort of restrain, I mean, not really, but <laughs> well, you could just sort of kind of impede the movement of this kind of creature. Uh, and yeah, 
Uh, and then at the end you had this kind of fight where you were actually on land or I guess on sand uh, and you kind of were fighting this thing but it wasn't really like a major threat or anything wow uh, it was like sort of you know just sitting there doing some attacks in there but you were essentially just you know hurting its like toes or something uh, and then it essentially kind of you know it couldn't endure the pain of of its kind of toes and fingers kind of being stung and then it kind of fell down and was defeated oh s i mean you know it seemed like an s if that's uh, I mean, lots of reward but i don't know if i actually need that reward uh but yeah so that's pretty much this episode and uh now it's time for the next one and I guess I should think about what kind of last things I want to do in this game still. I'm not really interested in side quests in general. Also not interested in like filler anime episodes. So it's kind of, I don't know. Item box. I've never used the item box. Oh, but I guess I should, you know, I should kind of stop this episode. And bye.